the band brass, baby. Hey, yo, look, bro. What it do? What it do? What it do? You feel me? It is your boy, Nigel, a.k.a. The Band Bros. And as you feel me, I am back again with some more great content as always. Now, look, bro, we've had a great weekend. You feel me? We've had an amazing weekend. Um, I don't even really know where to start. All the content's there for y'all to see, right? All the content's there for y'all to see, for y'all to understand what's going on from BSU to Winston-Salem State. You feel me? Uh, Hey, <laughs> some funny shit kicked off down there. And then you talking about the Aggie Eagle Classic with AT and Central. Hey, look, shout out to Doc and all them, you feel me? Because, uh, hey, trying to sit in them stands and everything with as many people as it was was a hassle. But sitting on that field, being able to really enjoy the close-ups of both bands and get some great content of both bands was amazing. So, look. Since I'm from Central, you feel me? For those who don't know, I'm going to give some love back to the home team. We got a good amount of reaction videos to do today. But the first video I want to get done, I want to get done this Aggie Eagle Classic. Brought to you by A1 Media. A look, which, by the way, let me sit here and take the time to say. For those who don't know, A1 Media, you feel me? Great guy. Aaron is his actual name. You feel me? Marcel Bethune Cookman, man. Look, I, all I got to say is, bro, I appreciate you, man. Because... Me and ever since I met him from the first time way back when, you feel me, me and him have had some great conversations since then, you feel me, and he sent me messages saying, look, bro, your content is looking even better than it was before, da 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 you feel me, and it's all about the growth, man, and that's all I'm trying to do. I be looking at my own videos like, damn, bro, you really did that, you feel me, so, look, that's neither here nor there, so, look, we about to react to this, man, we finna react to it, now, look, this is a touchy video with me being from Central. But with me also rocking with some people at ANT, I know people gonna think it's a little bias in here, and I know some people are gonna think I'm hating on Central at the same time. I'm gonna give my honest perspective. Now, look, personally, I tried to wait for all the guys. I wanted to wait for them, but everybody's busy being percussion instructors or at work or even having kids. That's neither here nor there. You feel me? I'm gonna get y'all this video, man, for real, and I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Doc, we had our conversations about what we talked about. This is the perfect chance for me to explain to the rest of y'all who are waiting for this video for me to explain to y'all what I personally believe and what I heard on the field. So look, man, we finally get into this, man. Hey, look, Central's up first, A1 Media, my dog. I appreciate you, man. We finna see how this content is going. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I need one of the windsuits too. I need it. Two was y'all was on some steroids that whole game too. By the way, all y'all was. A little mini swag band over there right now. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna lie though 
Niggas was talking shit about Ant's tubas on the field. <laughs> Cause Central Tubas was shitting on them all game. Hey, there's some nasty footage right here, A1. There's some nasty footage. Alright, now look, I'm going to keep this as brief, but yet I'm going to explain it as best as I can because we got so many videos we got to get to. I'm going to call it just like how I called it on the field when I was with Christian and all them. I give that first round of NT. Here's why. And I told you Doc as well. Here's why. Central, let's start with, let's start with the fact that Central has grown exponentially. Central sound is crazy. The power is there. You feel me? We have both heard that both bands that day obviously had some sections they needed to work on. That's neither here nor there. We'll talk about that later in the video, right? But this is where I was saying when it come to Wilson, this is what I told Doc, you feel me, as an example of how I was feeling as this battle was going on. And this is no slight to him either, right? So... The reason why I give this whole first round to A&T was literally because 2020 or 2021, one of those two, Jackson State came out with family ties, right? And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning Jackson State. Jackson State came out with family ties. They played that back then and it was creasing, right? They played that this year and it was creasing as well, but they played that against Southern as like one of those first songs out the gate, right? But it didn't hit the same. That was the same feeling I got when I heard Love Sosa. Love Sosa sounds so much better. Not that it didn't before, but it sounds even better now with the power and the size and the tubas and the mellows and all that shit, right? <laughs> but I'm going to just be real with you, right? Central was putting belt to ass on Ant's band, in my opinion, during the actual game, right? Now, Ant was sounding amazing in that stadium. I have to give my credit where credit is due because I know Ant people are finna watch this video. So I'm not gonna act like Ant wasn't doing some good stuff. Yes, both, you know, obviously, whatever, whatever, right? I ain't gonna get into that. But as the first song in the fifth quarter to make a statement to really, in my opinion, show Ant that, look, we here. I don't believe it should have been Love Sosa. That's just my opinion. That's just my thoughts. I believe Love Sosa was solid. I believe Love Sosa, in my opinion, from what I heard when I was on that field, was a solid eight. But that WhatsApp by Gunna, she was like a solid nine. You feel me? I, I That's just me being honest. That's just me being honest. Some people might disagree, but I'm just being real with you. I believe Love Sosa is a solid arrangement, but Love Sosa could have been an arrangement that would have, could have been used for the end game. As the first song out the fifth quarter, that was a solid statement song, but I think Auntie had an even better solid statement song. That's all I'm going to say about that. Round one goes to Auntie. Let's keep it going. Talk to me, Bones.
Hey, bro, y'all look good, bro. Y'all look good, yo. Tubas. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna lie. On the field, I was on the field. On the field, that shit was moving people, bro. Had people turning faces and all that. Squinched up. Okay, okay, round two, round two, calling it how I felt as I'm watching it, right, as I'm watching it, I gave that second round uh, to Central, not gonna lie, now listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out, we decided that going forward, we're gonna try our best to not give ties unless we absolutely feel like it's a must, right, unless we absolutely feel like it's a must, um, I know some people are probably gonna watch this video and be like, come on, bro, you telling me that uh, 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 Fiend wasn't or was better than Euphoria, in my personal opinion, just based off of the reactions that I seen on the field and the feeling that I got from listening to Fiend and the feeling I got from Euphoria, I'm not going to lie to you. And I and I talked to some of the media guys over there at a and I ain't going to say no name, but I talked to some of the guys and we was having our conversation about this. Listen, Euphoria is a damn good arrangement. Not going to lie, Euphoria was... A some of these... Listen, when I give points to each band, I need y'all to look at it from a perspective of, let's say it's a score, right? Let's say it's a one out of a 10. Euphoria could have been a solid, in that round, Euphoria, in my opinion, was like a solid 8.4, 8.5. I think Fiend was just, from the power, the tubas, the energy, I just, I, I gave that like a solid 8.7, 8.8. These are close scores. These are close rounds, you feel me? Uh, people tried to sit here and say, man, I seen people say Central's band sounded like a high school. I, I Listen, maybe 2017 through 2021 when niggas marched there. Yes, when we were small as fuck. Yeah, we did. <laughs> not going to lie to you. We did. We had certain sections who sounded great, but we still did. This ain't the same, right? We obviously can hear that certain sections need some milk in both areas, right? But in this case, this probably has been the best anti and central battle I have seen in a long time, yo. In a long time, just being honest with you. So, yeah, I gave that second round to Central, making it 1-1 for real, for real. Listen, anti people, if y'all watching this video and y'all think I'm just trying to look out for them, bro, for once in y'all life, please don't be a dick. Just understand that I'm not even trying to look out for Central. You feel me? I'm just saying, for real, for real, I genuinely rocked with Fiend more than I rocked with Euphoria that round. So, making it 1-1. Let's keep it going. Alright, boss.
Okay, Trumpets, y'all try to squeeze through there. Y'all try to squeeze through there. Mellows, mellows. Man, they done had haze on that stand the whole time. Mellows, I hear y'all, I hear y'all. Hey, these four mellows in the middle, they playing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, they playing. First of all, let me say, Golden Delight, y'all look damn good. Even though I've seen the video of y'all saying DOA's drum sounded like trash cans. I'm that's just neither here or there. I've seen it. I've seen the video. Seen the video. But that's neither here or there. Round three, right? Round three. Keeping that whole book with you. Round three. Christian was there. He's my witness. Round three. I gave that round to Auntie, yo. I gave that round to Auntie. I'm not going to lie. This is why. Listen. Dirty Diana. Very solid arrangement, right? Very solid arrangement. But as y'all can hear, especially in this video with A1, right? Especially in this video, y'all can hear certain sections in Dirty Diana who needed some milk, right? Not being rude, this is my home team. And it hurts to my core sitting here going against the home team. But I refuse to try to be biased in this. And I just can't do it. But I'm also going to try to be as honest as I can. Round three, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually gave that round to NT, you feel me? Um, I low-key feel like, and it wouldn't have made a difference. Someone said this on the field when I was talking to some of the bros. Shout out frat down there. But I low-key feel like, what if NT was the band who played first in this battle? Would Central had solid responses? And, I, and I'm trying to imagine if the same battle was happening, except if it was reversed, how would it make me feel? And I kind of would still feel the same way. Dirty Diana low key in my opinion could be one of those solid arrangements now i done seen people sit here and say oh bro uh no compared to norfolks and everything like that it ain't got nothing on norfolk well that's the problem why are you comparing it to norfolk why can't like for example i don't know what's up with y'all winston niggas who was on dick all weekend about rich as fuck sounding like jackson state's arrangement um I can't say what I want to say because I'm ha I have permission to go to all these schools now and I just can't say what I really want to say. But how about we focus on what's going on in our own home before we try to walk into someone else's house? Because I'm going to be real with you. Even if it do sound like Jackson, even if whatever, and that's not saying it do because we played rich as fuck back in 2016, 2017 when I was there. You feel me? That rich as fuck arrangement 
will probably beat any arrangement that Winston is playing right now. Yikes. So let me get back on topic though. Listen, certain sections in um certain sections in this battle of Dirty Diana did need some milk. We heard y'all. Trumpets, I heard y'all. You feel me? We heard it. We said it on the field, right? That's okay though. Because like I said before, y'all are bigger. And for y'all to be as big as y'all are, y'all are making it work like y'all been big like this for the past couple of seasons. People on NT side was sitting here saying, yo, wait till Central sits here and gets even bigger next year. Because low key, I think this is the new size for Central. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the new size for Central. Just keeping it a buck. So, yeah, I gave that third round to A&T. They got in. They got out. You feel me? And I'm not going to act like they didn't have some squeakers there. But overall, they didn't have as much standout parts as Dirty Diana did in certain areas of certain sections. That's my opinion. 2-1. Let's keep it going. Solid, solid. I'm not gonna lie, solid. Y'all gotta get this nigga Hayes off the damn podium, though, bro. He he is Swiss Army knife. It's a reason why Ant got this man over there now. I'm not gonna lie. Ah shit. I ain't gonna lie. We said the same thing on the field. Ah shit. <laughs> I mean, look at Bibby and all them niggas in the top right corner over there talking shit, hazing them niggas. Okay, um, 
that would be round four, right? Round four. Hey, listen, sometimes you just got to know when one of those arrangements is one of those arrangements. You feel me? Um, I gave that round to A&T. Not going to cap. Not going to cap. Uh, Fantastic Voyage. Solid. Solid, bro. Solid. Goddamn. And I hate I hate doing this. I'm not saying I hate giving Auntie credit because Auntie deserves credit what credit is due, just like Central did. And one thing that I will say about the the Aggie Eagle Classic is a lot of Auntie people out there earned my respect because they wasn't afraid to really give props to Central, right? I hate the people who try to talk shit like, oh, I told you Central can't fuck with Auntie. Don't do that. Because if I'm being real with you, like this could have this battle wasn't that far off like people were trying to make it seem um yeah i get listen i gave that round um i gave that round to to auntie bro for real for real. i gave that round to auntie uh if i'm just being honest with you overall you feel me it was it was you know it was just one of those arrangements <laughs> it was just one of those arrangements you feel me make it a three one right um fantastic voice like i said before was solid but when you got the crowd singing to this song like they was singing, it's really nothing you can do about that, bro. It's really nothing you can do. Now, I get it. Some people might watch this from Central and feel as if, oh, y'all think Antietam paid me? Nah, but as musicians, right, we're never going to admit a loss. We're never going to sit here and admit something of that type of statue. But at the same time, we're also, as musicians, not afraid to have a self-reality check and be honest with ourselves. And I'm pretty sure that's a good amount of people who heard Auntie play that day in Central's band and a good amount of people who heard Auntie play, I mean, who heard Central's play in Auntie's band, literally both probably said the same thing, like, yo, these niggas is blowing. And in this case, bro, listen, take you down, you knew that arrangement was coming. You knew that arrangement was coming. I'm not going to lie, it's been one of their highlight arrangements this year. You knew it was coming. I gave that to Auntie, you feel me? 3-1, let's keep it going. Bones. Central, central, central. Central, central, central.
Okay, okay. Wait, hold up. Okay, all right. First, let me say this. I'm going to stop the battle right here because after this is just a couple more central arrangements and he does begin to leave. You feel me? Um, But I have to be honest, right? I have to be honest. Um, I got to just be honest, bro. For real, for real. Mm, mm, mm. Clearly... Anti won this battle, right? Anti won this battle. Um, you know, it hurts me to my core saying that. But what I'm hoping that when I say this and when people watch this video, I know a lot of people are finna watch this video, right? Um, and I hope everybody understands when I say this, right? That it's like you have to come prepared when it comes to Anti, especially on the field show. And in the fifth quarter. Now, do I and am I saying that Central didn't come prepared? Absolutely not. I believe Central came prepared. I do believe Central came prepared. Um, and this kind of goes into my next point that I was gonna make. Reason why I say that was because you know, when we was on the field and Central played when we by tank, we was like, Oh, okay, okay, you know, you got okay, you got people up there, like you got a lot of the drunk OGs who are out there, like, I don't give a fuck. They sound good regardless. They sound good regardless. Well, from a sober standpoint, they did. But Ante just honestly sounded just a little bit more polished. And that's just the honest truth. That's the honest truth. That isn't to be rude to Central. That isn't to be hating on Central. Because, listen, I shook hands with a lot of y'all this past Saturday. A lot of y'all who I didn't even, like, who I didn't even know. I still don't know. But... Niggas is shaking hands with me, dapping me up, showing love, and vice versa, right? But so when I when when y'all watch this video, I hope that y'all are listening, not from a standpoint of like, oh yeah, well Central's big and they're cranking. Yes, we understand that now we've grown in size. We understand that now we probably are the new standard of having this size. Now it's time to tweak the small things because this is my thing. They might have got y'all this battle, but y'all finna see them motherfuckers again in Indy. Y'all finna see Wilberforce go down there and spank Wilberforce with these same arrangements. Just polish it a little bit more. That's all I'm going to say. The last thing I'm going to say before I get ready to get to these next videos is this. I believe pros and cons of Central, right? Of Central. The battle's over. Like I said, I'm not going to review no more after this. Shout out A1 Media. But I believe this is my pros and my cons and my takeaways. And I'm going to tell y'all some of the things we said on the field that Central can improve on. So the cons, the pros first, the pros. Size has gotten bigger. Tuba sound great. Drumline is solid. You feel me? Um, if you notice, sometimes in band world, sometimes the drumline tends to shine more than the band, and sometimes the band tends to shine more than the drumline. Sometimes it's equal, right? For the last two years, it's been about Central's band. Let's just be real. It's about Central's band. DOA is a solid sound. They got a solid foundation for the band. It's not about DOA right now. Like, all the old heads said that. Yes, we said DOA is still DOA, but it's not about DOA. It's about the band. It's this is the band's takeover. This year and last year is the band's takeover. Um, size is good. Bones are talking. Tubas are shitting on niggas because they did that all game over there. UFOs solid. Mellows solid. Trumpets need some milk. Not gonna cap. Need some milk. I think we know that. No disrespect, not being rude. I think we can hear that. Woodwinds, y'all deep as hell, you feel me? I hear y'all. I hear y'all. Dancers, flags, solid, right? Cons. And this was my only con that I said to some of the old heads when they asked me how I felt. We got to get Wilson some help when it comes to these arrangements, man. I'm not saying that Wilson's arrangements aren't good, but we need some more staff members as far as who are really good arrangers or student or student arrangers, whichever it may be. You feel me? I'm not going to step into that field because I'm not in there to know. But we just got to get even more tougher arrangements. The arrangements right now are good. Right? They're good. They're really good. And against most bands, they will, they will get the job done. 
But in a battle like this, it was just that slight difference that made it from being central and antique. And that was clear as day, right? That was my only thing I had to say about that. Um, Reason why I said that is because, look, I don't know if y'all know who Hayes is, but Hayes, Dudley, Hillside, you feel me? Resume goes on and on, you feel me? I'm only speaking from when I know him. Hillside, Dudley. Hayes is one, he's a Swiss Army knife, bro. If you not notice, he's been on the podium the entire time. He's been on the, po the podium the entire time. It's the reason why Ant got him. Shout out to him over there as well, bro. You know, it was great to see you have a conversation with you, whatever. Hayes is a Swiss Army knife, knife when it comes to these arrangements, you feel me? Um... And in this case, he just had a very good play call, right? And mind you, Central played first, you feel me? So he had the chance to really respond how he wanted to respond. Like I said before, I try to imagine it if the band battle was switched, how would it sound? It's neither here or there. So yeah, um, I'm wrapping up this battle with uh, I'm Anti coming out on top, 4-1, right? It hurts me saying that. But I hope when y'all listen to this and when y'all watch this video, listen, we're not going to be able to please everybody. We're going to have some people who are going to be upset regardless. But this is just, in my opinion, the honest truth. But hear me when I say this before I wrap this video up. Even though the score is what it is, this battle was still closer than it's ever been in my entire years since I've seen Anti and Central going against each other. I'm not going to lie. 2017 through 2021, we ain't come close to beating Ante. We didn't. I know we thought we did, and the one year we did, some shit happened, and we didn't, right? But we, 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 we did not come close to beating Ante. But listening to some of the old heads from Ante who's on that field, they definitely was not afraid to give the flowers where flowers is due by saying that no cap central give them another year, and they are going to be a monster. And I totally agree. I'm not saying they aren't right now. I believe Central right now, and it comes to the me, I believe Central, I believe Central is damn near better than almost every band, for real, for real. Every band. Um, and every band has weaknesses and strengths. And I feel like right now, the only weakness outside of, you know, of course, different sections need to work on stuff. Every band has different sections that have some some stuff they need to work on, right? The, the biggest thing I think Central needs to now focus on or shift their focus to I said it, Christian said it, uh, Bibby said it, um, some of the OG said it. Now, let's make these arrangements even more fierce for the band. You feel me? Because I believe y'all can handle it. I believe by the end of the season, y'all going to be sounding even better than what y'all sounded right now. You feel me? So, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I know some people might not agree with me, but this is just my honest take. For real, for real, look. I appreciate y'all showing all the love, bro. Listen, y'all been going crazy on my page, bro. You know, the funny thing is, and I'm going to say this too. It's some people who don't fuck with me. And guess what? Like me and me and my bro, Bibby, and all the other guys said, we don't give a fuck, gang. We don't give a fuck. I swear, if we, I swear we don't give a fuck. I ain't trying to like just snap, but we don't care. Like Stephen A. Smith, we don't care. We don't care. Because while you, like, keep your scrunch faces, keep that hate, keep all that stuff over there, because you're not stopping shit over here, fam. Nobody is. Nobody. We taking off, and that's what all we're going to keep doing. Like, you feel me? That's what we're going to keep doing from now going forward. Call a spade a spade, however you want to do it. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah, I need one of them wind suits, too. I'll donate. I'm going to donate. You feel me? I'll, I'll pay. I need one of them wind suits. Yeah, that, them wind suits kind of tough. You feel me? But look, I appreciate y'all. Look, just the band bros. You feel me? Subscribe. Show love. You feel me? Hey, share. Comment. Please comment. Tell me what y'all think. Because, hey, I think this was a damn good battle. The best battle I've seen of the Aggie Eagle Classic in the last couple of years. I'm not going to lie. I got a couple more videos I got to get to. So, look, I'm going to get y'all this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this. The band bros. And I'm out. It's the band bros, baby.